Ahoy! That's check for hello, even though it's a landlocked country. Think about it. What I wanted to talk to you today is give you a little bit of a PSA about how sometimes when you start a tab, someone else's credit card gets associated with that tab, but that first name still stays on the tab and how to how you understand how it happens and how you can hopefully avoid it so you wouldn't have to end up eating the tab or there's not a way to get refunded of that original person for the tab so if someone comes in michael mccabe for instance comes in and wants to dive in logger you hit the dive in logger you start tab like so and you insert his credit card Okay. Now, Michael McCabe has a tab started. If the next individual comes in, and this is where you're working in a hurry, you're starting something. If that tab is not closed out, all the way where you're either back to the main screen or say, if you're under Michael's name, under a new order and there's nothing on the screen, the next person comes in. If you en enter that card under Michael McCabe, say the next person, you don't realize when you're in a hurry that the next person comes in and orders a Coors Light and you hit start tab. Right away, you insert the card. If you realize right away and you pull it out, it still says Michael McCabe in it. And you pulled it out before it said on the on the card reader, you pulled it out before it said it was giving you the sign to pull the card out. At this point in time, that second person, Eric Ash's credit card, may have been associated with this tab. Now there's no way of telling that, unfortunately, because you can't look up the last four digits of the credit card. You don't know. It still is gonna say Michael McCab on the tab. Um, the only way to know is once you print out, once you authorize that card, the last four digits of whatever card is associated with it will be charged. So if I close this tab out right now, still Michael McCab for 7555. If it prints out, this tab still says Michael McCab on it. The last four digits though, are to a different credit card than the first one I entered in it. Which really sucks, unfortunately. Uh, like I said, there's no way of seeing this. There's no way of knowing it um, because the issue becomes if you get out of here Michael McCabe sticks around for another two, three hours. Continue, you continue adding on to his bill. Meanwhile, not knowing the whole time that someone else's credit card has been associated with that tab. Michael McCabe will come to close out his tab. He will sign it with his name. It says his name on the tab, but a different credit card, unfortunately, has been associated with the tab. It's a flaw and it's an error in NCR system where it doesn't switch the name when you enter a new card and it reads the card. It reads the card numbers, it doesn't read the name. And they said they fixed this. They said that it was updated. It clearly has not been updated. It clearly has not been fixed from their end at all. Um, another issue that I had with this this weekend where you have to go around where sometimes you have someone an individual start a tab and then another individual of that party comes and wants to not necessarily just pay that tab but wants to continue it on their card and you don't know um, if in this tab an instance you enter that card and you can save it in there you can go to start tab, you can rename it to their name, but you're not gonna know the original in individual's name and how to get that card back to them unless they come and just ask and assume it's closed out. The easiest way is typically just 
to start a tab for that second person with what they order and then transfer and add the two tabs together with that name and then you'll have the other person. Um, so there's multiple workarounds. There's multiple things that can happen because you can end up having this happen when you just turn around and you go to ring something real quick and it was still left open on another individual's tab. <clears throat> you can think you deleted it. You can go back in and delete the one item off the tab and then start a new tab with the right credit card, but it still continues to have that information in it. Once you put that credit card in, it's hard to tell if it took that credit card's information or not. The only way to go back really is you need to get the initial credit card with that name on it and then re-enter it and hope it takes it in it. Um, <clears throat> There's a couple other little things with it, but unfortunately, there's no good way to tell. And this is a, an issue that when you're really busy, because sometimes it doesn't read cards. As you all know, you pull it, it says it's time to pull a card out. You pull a card out, you go on to helping the next guest, and you didn't realize that it did not take the card. The card get, got filed, and you're trying to wonder whose card it was because it didn't take the name whatever or you turn around and you thought you had a new tab started and it still has that stuff on the screen and then you start it you start adding on to that if it's one item or whatnot so i just wanted you to be aware of this and how it can happen how it does happen um it's a pain for reimbursing people and it's hard to unfortunately there's not a way for us a good way for us to get reimbursed from that original individual's thing unless they're a friendly or someone that we know uh who's it is uh so just a heads up to be aware of it how it happens to you guys thank you bye